Hi guys, this is our book five, our last book of the GNU Zoo Adventure. This book is about Big Billy's great adventure. If you remember from the last book, they were dealing with the, the special key and Big Billy the Panda Bear now holds the true GNU key around his neck. The key that will forever free the animals at the GNU Zoo Carousel. But before Big Billy and his friends can return to the carousel, uh, Big Billy must complete one last adventure. And he has to do it alone. That sounds scary. Well, of course, the great white tiger will be there to guide him. But will Big Billy trust the great white tiger to lead him through? Well, Big Billy will look back at his friends, Einstein, Miss Marbles, Chattabunga, and Boongachacha, as he takes his first step onto the sea of glass. The first step into the GNU Zoo's crew's last great adventure. Or is this adventure just the beginning? Did you know God will always be with you? Never forget that. Now we will start reading our story. And if you see the picture, they're all asleep except Big Billy. He's holding his key and looking up. Big Billy sat on the edge of the sea of glass. Gazing up at the stars, he thought back to the days to, to the days when he and his friends had been prisoners on the Gnu Zoo carousel. He were held captive by the evil reptilian. Big Billy had escaped with his friends, but now it is time to return and set the other animals free. The great white tiger, Big Billy began, this has been a great adventure, the greatest adventure of my life of all our lives. <clears throat> he looked at his friends who were fast asleep, piled up in a heap behind him. There was Einstein, the brilliant but eccentric elephant, Miss Marbles, the prissy but kind-hearted ostrich, and Chattabunga and Boongachacha, the tomboy, tomboy twin monkeys. There he is, thinking. Big Billy looked toward the sky and spoke. You have protected us through so much danger, but now I'm afraid. How will we ever get across this terrible sea? Trust me, my son. I will provide a way. But you, Big Billy, must first go alone and then return for your friends, the great white tiger replied. Alone? Oh dear, Big Billy explained, causing his friends to stir from their sleep. I trust you. I, I just don't trust me. What if I mess up? I will always be there for you, the great white tiger replied and I will help you find a way. Uh -oh. See? That's right, Chattabunga cried as she bounced onto Big Billy's shoulders. Remember how he was there for me when I took the wrong path and I was captured by the old stinky breath and his pathetic partner, she asked, referring to the evil reptilian and his scrawny sidekick Creepshaw. And he was there for me even after my overwhelming love for chocolate caused us all delay in getting back to the carousel, Einstein added as he ambled over to the water's edge. Remember, Einstein ate his chocolate key. Uh-oh, look here. Well, I must also confess, Miss Marbles chirped. There was that time when I ignored the great white tiger's helper and ended up with my feathers.
there's all a whirl heading down the river toward the waterfall. He protected me then, and she batted her eyelashes, but my beautiful purse never has been the same. Yes, I remember, Big Billy said with a smile. And remember this, the great white tiger said. Remember that I love you, and I will always love you. Then he turned to Big Billy. Now, Billy, it is time to go. The enemy is near, but I am closer. I am in your heart. To cross the sea of glass, you must trust what is in your heart and not what your eyes or ears tell you. Ooh, Reptilian whispered. This is better than I had hoped for in my wildest, most evilest dreams. Yeah, boss, Creepshaw added, a piece of cake. And see the great white tigers looking out for them. Whoops, here you go. Oh, no, look what's going on. Perchance there is a candy store on the other side, a morsel of chocolate would be greatly appreciated, Einstein said. Should there be an institution of beauty, perhaps you could book an appointment for me to have my feathers fluffed, Miss Marbles added. Have you forgotten what this great adventure is all about? Big Billy asked. We must return to the carousel so that our friends can be free too. Right, 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 they all muttered at once. When you get to the other side, the great white tiger said, Raymond, the purple piranha, will provide a boat that will take you back to your friends. You will then all return to the carousel. Piranha fish, piranha fish, Boongachacha screeched jumping into Einstein's arm. You'll be fish bait, Billy, a salty snack. Oh no. <laughs> Big Billy goes, trust me now, Billy, and take your first step, encouraged the great white tiger. Billy stepped onto the sea of glass. It seemed pretty sturdy, he thought. This might not be so hard at after all. He took a few more steps. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, he cried. Just then, a hand reached out of the hole into the sea and grabbed Billy by the leg. Oh, dear. Help, help, Billy cried. I've got you this time, Reptilian growled as he pulled Billy closer and closer to the edge. Help me, great white tiger, Billy pleaded as he began to disappear in the sea. See how he's, oh no. Look at that old creep shawl. Look at him. Oh, he's nasty, huh? Oh, let me go there. Whoops, there we go. Then suddenly from overhead, Big Billy heard, Tally hoo! Tally hoo! and company into the rescue. Big Billy looked up and he saw his old friend Tootaloo and Lulu. The great white tiger's helper circled the hole with a rope. Lulu called down to Big Billy, grab on, old buddy. Billy reached up and grabbed the rope. I say, old chap, you seem to be in a bit of a bother here, Tootaloo said. I think I got a little carried away with myself, sighed Big Billy. Well, you're safe now, little buddy, Lulu said as she flew off. The great adventure continues. Reptilian shouted from below. We'll be back. We have more in store for you. Oh, no. Look at that. Oops. There's 
pick Billy on his adventure. As Billy continued along, he looked at the vast sea ahead of him. That's my problem, he said to himself. I'm hopeless. I always get into trouble. I never get it right. That's right. You'll never make it across, Reptilian's voice boomed. Yeah, I don't know why the not-so-great white tiger chose you, Creepsaw, Creepshaw added. You're not worth saving. Billy sat down, discouraged. Suddenly, the sea began to shake. Cracks appeared in the glass, sending splinters flying everywhere. The sea opened like the mouth of a dragon and swallowed Big Billy whole. Down, 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 he went spinning out of control. He was too dizzy and too weak to even cry out for help. He took one glance at the mark of the great white tiger on his paw, and he closed his eyes. Boy, I bet he was really scared, don't you? Well, let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Whoa. <clears throat> Just when he thought he was doomed... He felt something beside him. He opened his eyes and saw a large blue seahorse with a silver saddle. Hop on, Scooter said. Billy jumped onto the saddle and they took off, up, up, higher and higher, and they were above the sea. Billy jumped in the saddle. Or, oops. Well, shiver my scales. What happened to you, Scooter asked as they landed. I don't know, Big Billy said. I was just sitting there thinking that I don't deserve the love of the great white tiger. And the next thing I know, I'm falling into the middle of the sea. That's where you went wrong, my friend. You cannot earn the love of the great white tiger. It's a gift. You always have it, Scooter said. One day, Big Billy wished, I just want to get it all right. Big Billy, he loves you every day, good days and bad days, Scooter replied. Now there's no time to waste. Off you go. With a flick of his tail, Scooter was gone. As Big Billy continued on his great adventure, a thick mist began to rise from the sea. It swirled around him in waves, blinding him. Suddenly, the howling of dozens of snow wolves froze Big Billy in his track. He felt their hot breath on his legs, and he heard them snap at his feet. Oh, no. Poor Big Billy. Great White Tiger, Big Billy whispered, I'm so afraid. But I will trust you. I will trust that you are with me. I believe you love me, no matter what. So he started to walk again. And as he walked, he smiled as the howls just faded into the mist. I told you the wolf thing was a lame idea, Creepshaw said. Silence. What is that foolish bear most afraid of, Reptilian huffed. Creepshaw thought a moment. Losing his dumb friends, he wondered. Brilliant, Reptilian replied, beginning to devise his plans. Uh-oh. Creepshaw and Reptilian are bad dudes. Big Billy could see the shore. He was almost all the way across the sea of glass. When he was just steps away from the shore, he heard Big Billy, help me. Big Billy listened carefully. He heard the cry again. It was coming from behind me. Help me, Big Billy. Help me. I'm sinking. It sounded like Miss Marbles. 
Oh, what should I do? Big Billy cried out. You must come back, Big Billy. I need your help, the voice pleaded. Yeah, we, I mean, I need your help. It's me, Miss Marbles. Don't you recognize my voice? Another added with an evil chuckle. Deep in Billy's heart, he could hear the great white tiger's voice. You must trust what's in your heart and not with what your eyes or ears tell you. So Big Billy focused on the shore ahead and he kept walking. Your voice sounds nothing like Miss Marbles, the your royal nastiness Creepshaw said to Reptilian, watching Big Billy continue. Silence, fool! Will nothing get that bear to turn around? Reptilian demanded. Billy's feet finally hit the shore. He could feel the sand between his toes and the warmth of the sunlight on his face. The hard, smooth sea glass transformed into rolling waves. Just then, a giant fish leaped out of the water. You see that? Look at that. That's the piranha fish, huh? Hiya, hiya, I'm Raymond. It's an honor to meet you. The large piranha splashed along the shoreline and led Big Billy to a crystal boat with a yellow large sail. Climb aboard, he told Billy. After you retrieve your friends from the other shore, this boat will take you all safely home to the Good News Zoo carousel. Big Billy stood on the bow of the boat and it began to glide through the water, slowly at first, but then faster and faster until Billy was breathless from the wind. You did it, Billy. You did it, his friends cried as he returned to the shore where they waited. You mean the great white tiger did it, Billy said, smiling. He hugged each of his friends as they climbed aboard. What a great adventure, he shouted. It raised the, tr it raised the true Gnu key to the sky, to the carousel. To the carousel, the rest of the gang cheered. With that, a tornado of twinkling stars began to whirl around them, gathering speed until it swooshed the boat up in the air and pushed it across the sky like a meteor. When the boat landed again, Big Billy could see they were finally home at the Gnu Zoo. Oh, no, you don't, Big Billy. Reptilian whispered, not if I can help it. Oh, dear. I say, mate, isn't that the old crew? The toucan asked, watching from familiar figures at the bottom of the hill. Well, what do you know? It's Big Billy and Miss Marbles and the whole gang, the alligator explained. Explain. Well, <clears throat> I never thought we'd see you again, he called to his friends as they drew closer and closer. Life has been so hard since you left on your great adventure. Did you find the great white tiger? asked the timid giraffe. We sure did, Big Billy said with a smile, taking the Gnu, Zoo key, the Gnu key out of his pocket. He raised the key and inserted it in Gnuzu's empty keyhole when suddenly Reptilian came roaring out of the trees. Give that key to me, Reptilian demanded. Never, Billy cried, clutching the key to his chest. Reptilian grabbed Billy by the ankles. Now you will obey, he hissed. We will never serve you, Billy said. We serve the great white tiger. He loves us and we love him. With that, Billy wiggled himself free 
he put the true GNU key back in its rightful place with a click. The carousel began to spin. Lights came on and music filled the air. The spindly poles that once held the animal captive disappeared forever. Urgh! Stop that infernal noise, Reptilian cried. I'll be back one day, you see. Oh, they're all so happy, the Amal. Hooray, the animals cried. We're free. Now we'll, we'll be able to take the children on the carousel rides of their lives. And the adventure is just the beginning, the great white tiger said with joy. What? Just the beginning? Big Billy asked. I thought this was the end of our journey. The great white tiger chuckled gently. No, my little ones. Now that you have learned to trust my love, we will have many great adventures ahead. Well, we'll we'll be there too. Big Billy and his friends looked up to see Tootaloo, Lou, Lulu, and Bartholomew circled the carousel. And don't forget us, cried Scooter and Raymond, hopping out of the boat. How do you get here? Miss Marbles giggled. We hitch a ride, Scooter replied with a grin. Shh, what's that rustling sound? Miss Marble stopped to listen. Everyone turned to face the woods. Uh-oh, what is that? <gasps> Creepshaw burst from the trees. Hey, what about me? Ugh, the animals all jumped back in fear. Well, can, can, can I join your adventure? Creep Call stumbled in a squeaky voice. The animals just looked at him speechless. I'm really not a bad guy. I was just, I was in bad company, you know. Creepshaw tried to explain as he approached the carousel. I want to change. I want the great white tiger to love me like he does all of you. Oh, reptilian doesn't even like me, even with all my great ideas. The great white tiger already loves you, Creepshaw, Big Billy said. Really? Creepshaw tried to understand. Yes, really, Big Billy answered, smiling. The whole point of this great adventure is letting the great ti white tiger love you and then sharing his love with each other. So, so, you'll let me join the great adventure? Creepshaw asked, wiping his tears away. Well, of course, the animals cried in unison. Creepshaw smiled as the animals encircled him, cheering. Big Billy gazed into the sky. Great white tiger, I have learned that being loved by you is the adventure of a lifetime. And the friends looked toward the sky and cried out together. It's the greatest adventure of all. And there's the great white tiger. The adventure of a lifetime is being loved by you. When we're sad or when we're happy, we are loved by you. When we feel alone, you're always there. When friends are gone, you're there to care. The great adventure of my lifetime is being loved by you. Well, isn't that a great book? I know that um, in Romans, let's see, what chapter? Romans 8, 38, he shares, God shares this verse. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from the love of God that it has for us. Not death, not life, not angels, not ruling spirits, nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us, nothing below us, or anything else in the world 
will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Always remember that. No matter what you do, right or wrong, God always loves you. And he's always there for you. Well, I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the adventure of the Good News Zoo. You guys have a great day. Be safe. And see you next time.